Opening day is finally here for the Atlanta Braves after their first game of the season was postponed <laughs> due to inclement weather. So we thought it'd be a good idea to give our best non-World Series. And by non-World Series, I'm including like the NLCS, that entire postseason run, because you could go through, you know, the Dodgers and Eddie Rosario, Tyler Matzik turning into Nutsack, and then obviously everything in the World Series. Even Jock Peterson's three-run homer at home against the Milwaukee Brewers that really made you feel like the Braves are finally getting over that NLDS hump, yep. which was such a big deal during that run. I know you have something. I'll let you start it off, Alex. Yeah, this one's a little bit more personal. It has nothing to do with a, a Braves moment, per se. It was just a moment for me experiencing with the Braves. I must have been like six or seven years old, early 2000s, aging myself here. Um, and I, my dad brought me, my brother, and some friends to uh, Turner Field. We got there early, obviously, to catch BP home runs. Uh, and we're just walking through the concourse, and some random guy, no identification, no nothing, just comes up to us and goes, hey, kids, you want to meet Chipper Jones, Andrew Jones? And, you know, lists off uh, all the guys from that team that year. Uh, and my dad, huge guy, huge guy gets real into this guy's face because he's like, you know, you're, you're getting these kids hopes up. Of course we can't go meet Chipper Jones. And he like takes out his badge and he goes, no, no, sir. No, sir. Like I I'm going to take him down to the field. Long story short, I get to go down to Turner Field during BP. I meet Chipper Jones, Andrew Jones, Marcus Giles, Javi Lopez, Rafael Fercal, that entire like 2003, 2004 team, I think it was. And we have pictures, autographs. It was one of the coolest moments I've ever experienced just in my life. Uh, we ended up getting new new tickets uh, and some sort of sweet level at that point. I think me and my brother were just running around tackling each other. But right then and there, that was one of the most magical moments I could ever experience experience especially my dad's passed away now that's like a core memory for us uh and the Braves have probably brought that exact moment to millions and millions of people yeah I mean listen if we want to stick on the personal sides of things and not get into moments I mean I, I think the reason sports are so important and anyone that says sports don't matter is like listen did you, you didn't grow up going to games with your dad and your mom and, nope. and stuff like that and I always had season tickets growing up with my parents and going to opening day was all, always always something that I'll remember and cherish for my entire life because you know my parents live in different states now don't get to really go to games occasionally they'll come down for a playoff game but it's not the same uh, we won the world series and my i was with my dad and i thought that was uh you know kind of just like a come together moment because I, I know as atlanta sports fans yeah there's been a lot a lot of disappointment <laughs> and, and one of the things i always wanted to do was just you know win a world series and, and when the person i wanted to be with was my dad and those moments you know growing up as a kid and going to games and stuff like that and the braves were always our number one they were the only team we had season tickets to so that moment was cool and, and those moments they all lead up to it yes you had 20 what five six years of disappointment and then finally getting that win and it, it makes it all worth it and it's like a full circle moment but getting off the emotional dad subject and stuff <laughs> like that and strictly going into like actual moments you know there, there's a few the one that does stick out to me more probably because it's it's just recency bias but it was also so cool was coming back and catching the Mets and whether you're there or whether you weren't I know we were there for a couple games uh it was just kind of like it almost felt like it was the closest thing to a World Series that wasn't a World Series. Because yeah. just the way that it happened, coming back from 10 and a half games against a team like the pesky Mets. And just the, <laughs> the team that they were. They just have a bunch of unlikable guys. Their fans are unlikable. Their team wasn't as talented as us. And then you chase them down like that and you can just laugh at them. And then it ends with a sweep at home yeah. at Truist Park where you basically essentially clinch the division. It, that that's that's a little bit of poetry right there. Yeah, you we really needed this sweep too, where we were depending on. I don't remember who they were playing in the final. Maybe the Nats or the Marlins. I think we played the Marlins in the final series, and they were playing the Nats. Depending on the Nats to get you a win was just not you know wasn't going to do it. We needed a sweep to kind of secure our stuff. And I remember going in the Uber with Chase. And I was excited, obviously, but in my mind, I was like, you know, the likelihood of win of sweeping this Mets team, that was a 100-plus win Met team. Like, that was a good team. <laughs> they had DeGrom yeah. and Scherzer on the mound in games one and two. Yeah, like, we were like, and Chase has got his usual, you know, false sense of confidence. And uh, listen, the Braves give him it, but he's also just delusionally confident in life and in sports in general. And he's in the Uber talking to all of our friends like, we're going to sweep these guys. You know, he's saying a little bit more naughty words than that, but we're going to sweep these guys. And I go, you know, I'm just sitting there. I'm the voice of reason. I go, yeah, yeah, I mean, probably not, but, you know, it's going to be cool. And we had sick tickets, uh, you know, the best seats I've ever sat in for a Braves game right behind home plate. Uh, and, and we got to watch 
an absolute master class. I mean, we beat up Jacob DeGrom and then beat up Scherzer. You, it was poetry in motion. Like you said, other than the World Series, like that was a moment I'll cherish forever. Yeah, and one that didn't end as spectacularly as that one in the grand scheme of things. But I guess, you know, 2022, you ended up getting bounced in the NLDS anyway. So that that ended kind of poorly that year. The Ronald Acuna home run as a rookie yeah. uh, where he had a grand slam. I mean, even still to this day, if I see a highlight of that video, there's chills. The electricity, the coming to age moment of a 19, 20 year old rookie having the biggest hit on the biggest stage it, that that was yeah. fun that, that that was a chilling chilling moment and then every season you get great walk-offs i'll tell you one on against the the new york mets when oz when you oh come yeah back against the mets oh my god 13 to 14 game you had chipper and jeff rancor and john smoltz and tom glavin in the booth which just made it that much better and they yep. get this game which was supposed to be spencer strider versus justin Verlander, yeah. this amazing you know pitching matchup and they get this high scoring affair where both pitchers are out by the fifth inning yeah. uh the braves come back they go back and forth orlando arcia ties it up home run ozzy albies with an absolute bomb into the chop house which yep. by the way there's something special about hitting a walk-off home run in the chop house yeah. like there's that's just that that place was born for yeah. walk-off home runs yeah i'm gonna go back to another first I was there. I, I, I'll never forget it. Jason Hayward's first at bat was at, well, because the hype around, obviously, Ronald Acuna Jr., but Jason, there was maybe a little bit different hype around Jason Hayward. Like, everybody thought this was the second coming of the Christ. Night, yeah, the he second coming of hair. Christ, this guy. And he hits a home run, and everybody was just kind of, like, vindicated. Like, yep, Hank Aaron, yep, this is it. And it, that Turner Field w exploded exploded one of the craziest moments when i was still a kid but it was still so crazy and memorable that jason hayward homer obviously his career with the braves didn't you know go how everybody imagined it but that moment right there was enough for all of our hearts to be full i mean that moment i mean that's another moment it's just a bone chilling moment yes. I, i'll tell you something about jason hayward there was never a more fearsome dude to step maybe jorge soler but for at, at 20 years old or 19 years old whatever when he stepped into the box for the first time every time he stepped in you're like something special is about to happen now obviously he went on to have a great year and make you know half a billion dollars so you know <laughs> let's not feel too there's, bad there's nothing wrong with that but you know he did live up to that hank aaron hype and you how know, could he there's, there's only a few players <laughs> yeah. that ever will uh there's one other moment i i just just slipped my mind the aaron kinski home run in the nlds against the giants was absolutely sick um I don't know if there's one on the top of your head, but yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's a million. The Max Freed walk off in the final year before the Universal DH was he and he ended up with a Silver Slugger, and I don't remember the exact you know setting. I know it was in extras, and we were like, "All right, Max Freed, uh, you're up. We have nobody else to hit," and he delivers, and he's rounding first, and like kind of in one motion rounds first, and then goes like this to the back to the to. To the dugout and the dugout's going crazy that moment i wasn't there i saw it on tv obviously oh my god that's I a special that moment also 2021 so the braves were in the oh. heart of trying to win a division oh. after that really rough start and the ronald acuna injury and everything like that yeah but they, listen there's gonna there's been so many let's my, create my some dad, more my dad will talk about the sid bream slide yeah. uh, as his core memory if you're an older person you remember that but let's just hope you know it's opening day we got a big matchup, Spencer Strider, Zach Wheeler, a big matchup with the Phillies to start off the season. Let's make a ton more. Coming up after the break, we're going to switch gears, get a little bit into Falcons talk and the salary cap.